Hey, parents, it's the most wonderful time of the year. That is, of course, when we're getting ready to send the kids back to school. We're here today with Dr. Gregory Corcoran, Medical Director of Emergency Medicine at Hackensack Meridian Bayshore Medical Center, to share some back-to-school safety tips. Dr. Corcoran, thanks for taking time with us today. Thank you for the introduction, Sean. It's very nice to meet you today. And I just wanted to talk about some safety tips as as children go back to school. First, I want to start off by talking about the trip to school. So when traveling to and from school, I want to encourage parents to teach their children to be vigilant when traveling on their bikes or walking or taking the bus. For those who ride bikes or scooters, parents, it's important to educate them on the proper way to wear a helmet and avoid injuries. When walking or riding bikes, always choose the most direct route with intersections that have crossing guards whenever possible. Try not to text and walk, especially when you're crossing the street. A distracted pedestrian can quickly be in danger. Other things that are very important is to try to walk to school with other students. There's always strength in numbers. And for parents, teach your children to recognize and obey traffic signs and signals and pavement marks. And uh, and again, only cross the street at designated crosswalks. Always walk and never run across intersections. And most importantly, Always avoid talking to strangers. Parents, you can teach your children to get distance between themselves and anyone else who tries to approach them or make contact with them. If a stranger does approach your child, make sure they know to immediately report the incident to you or your teacher. Teach your children to never get into a vehicle with anyone, even if they know them without your permission. This is great information, doctor. You know, some of the tips could also be helpful for parents, correct? Yes, that's true. I also encourage parents to create an emergency action plan. Make sure your kids know your phone number by heart and have a way to get in touch with you should the need arise. Know what the emergency plan is at your child's school in case of a disaster or an unforeseen event. And if that occurs, develop a family emergency plan so everyone will know who to contact, where to go if something happens while children at school and parents are at work. And lastly, Take one of our classes to learn and practice first aid, CPR, and stop the bleed so you can help save a life. Doctor, thank you so much for sharing some of your tips with us today. Take a virtual tour of the new Dr. Robert H. Harris Emergency Care Center at Bayshore. Visit bayshoremedicalcenter.org. Thanks so much for taking time. You're welcome, Sean. It was great meeting you. You're welcome.